thousands of immigrants crossing the border. Tens of thousands of unaccompanied children. Beginning in 2014, an increasing number of young women and children began crossing our southern border and seeking asylum in the United States. These families fleeing these countries are literally fleeing for their lives. Lo más importante para uno es la protección de sus hijos. They were placed in family detention centers, the largest of which is located about an hour and a half south of San Antonio in Dilly, Texas, away from social service providers, away from lawyers, far away from anyone who could help the women and children who were detained there. I think there's some attempt to make it look like it's a very welcoming place, but it is still a lockdown facility, no doubt about it. The Cara Family Detention Project sprung up out of the need to provide representation for every single woman and child seeking asylum in the United States. They rely heavily on volunteer lawyers and also volunteer students to represent the women and children in their asylum hearings, in their credible fear review hearings. UCLA law students who volunteered in Dilly, Texas, had an opportunity to work intensively one-on-one -on -one with clients inside the detention center. In addition, students had an opportunity to write legal briefs that were filed in immigration court, and even to help represent clients in court in front of immigration judges. It was a really emotional experience for all of us. We met women who were younger than us who had been through so much trauma. It was really helpful for me to be, you know, with one of my professors and with my classmates and, you know, know that they were going through what I was going through during that experience. When you support service learning trips for UCLA law students, you enable students to travel to different locations where there's an urgent need for legal services and to be there on site working intensively, volunteering their time to do this work. 